Hey guys, Casey Foster here with Netcode Illuminati doing a mouse review here on the Razer Death Adder. This is the 3500 DPI um, with the infrared sensor. Uh, apparently it's like the newer one, the ones before it were 1800 DPI, but anyway, I'm going to do a little mouse review here on it. Uh, I've been using it now for about three months, so I'm actually pretty, um, pretty acquainted with the mouse and its pros and cons. Um, less cons, obviously, than pros. Uh, I, I, or else I wouldn't still be using it. But anyway, um, it's got the basic setup, the two thumb buttons. Uh, generally speaking, the people use these for back and forward on their browsers. Counter-Strike, I use it for my flash. Uh, or that's my mumble, that's my flash. Um, it's got a pretty sweet mouse wheel. One thing I do like about the mouse wheel is it's a larger mouse wheel. So basically, the, since the mouse wheel is larger, you're able to get a longer stride off on the... Obviously, you see it's jumping for me. Um, you're able to get a longer stride off, meaning it's easier to time your bunny hops. Most mice have smaller, smaller mouse wheels, and you can't get a smooth stride off. So that I like about it. I like the smooth finish here. My hand doesn't sweat too much on it. Um, the best thing, not the best thing, one of the smallest things that makes a huge difference on the mouse is the actual cord. Most mice have rubber cords, so when you're sliding it back and forth on, on your table, it sticks to your table and ends up giving you like mouse drag and stuff, which is awful. This mouse has a thread around it, or it's threaded around it, so it slides on your table. Obviously, I've got the Razer uh, mouse bungee as well, but it slides really well uh, on the table. And another big thing uh, that I want to talk about is the actual movement of the mouse. So on the 518, the EC1, probably the only two mice that, two mice that I've ever used in my gaming career, um, I use a relatively low sensitivity. To spin around, I've got to hit you know, a, a, a full mouse pad to spin around. So one of the things that would happen with the EC1 and the, and the, um, the 518 is when I need to spin around, only some of the time would it actually track my, my turnaround movements. But with this mouse, that is not the case at all. Uh, it must be because it has an infrared, um, uh, an infrared sensor. So basically, Counter-Strike is all about consistency. And if I need to be able to consistently spin around to, to see something quickly. So when I know, when I've got confidence that my mouse is going to spin around quickly, I can, I can turn around and or make that, that flick shot a lot more consistently because, you know, it actually A, does make it, and then B, I mentally know that it's going to happen. I remember back in the day with the EC1 and the, and the 518, I would, I would constantly be doing this because I would be scared to do a full stride because I knew my mouse wouldn't, wouldn't make that, that, um, that rotation. It's perfect. Days, my teammate, has been using it uh, basically since the Death Adder came out. He has never switched. He's constantly been winning CVOP, constantly winning Lance, constantly being the best player in America, pretty much, and um, has you know one of the sickest eagles in the game as well as op play and or opping skills. And he's been using this mouse since day one. So he's you know obviously convinced me to do it. I tried it out, and so far so good. And I and I like it a lot. So um, and it's also pretty sweet. It's got this little glowing uh, razor logo here on the the palm of your hand that goes on and off. So yeah. Uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns about the mouse, uh, go ahead and ask in the comments below. I'll pretty much be answering all the questions. And uh, you can pick these up at pretty much any any of the stores um, in your area. I think they're like $49 or $59, which is pretty basic for a mouse. And uh, it's got really sweet drivers. It's got like the sickest. I'll show you guys if you guys can see this on my screen. And this is the Razer Death Adder driver um, control panel. So. What we have here is complete control of the mouse. We've got the ability to change the sensitivity on the x-axis with the slider. We've got the ability to change the y-axis uh, sensitivity. We have the ability to change the window sensitivity in the control panel, turn off mouse excel, um, and also adjust mouse excel, which I've never seen before. You can also change the mouse sensitivity here. You can change the scroll speed, the on-the-fly sensitivity. You can change your double clicking speed basically for double clicking icons and you can turn on and off the lights. Obviously I have my mouse on 1000 hertz polling rate. That's the connection between your mouse and your computer speed. Uh, the DPI, obviously I have it on 450 DPI. The lower your DPI on the mouse, the higher you're going to need in-game, but I use 1.5 in-game, 450 DPI on the mouse. And then the coolest feature about this mouse is once you've got your settings all dialed in on here, you click this button right here, save slash load settings. You click this and it loads the settings to the actual mouse. So whenever you go to a LAN, you'll never need to bring the drivers with you. You'll never need to reconfigure your mouse. All you do is load the settings onto the mouse and boom, it's there forever. The sickest thing. So if you ever go to the LAN and they don't have your drivers or something and you won't be able to play your game properly, you know, you'll never have that problem with the Razer Death Adder. 
one of the problems that ESEA Land TCK had with his Microsoft mouse is he wasn't able to get his right mouse hertz on the mouse because they didn't have the drivers. And he obviously played out of, he didn't play his game well because of, you know, him not having the, uh, the right settings. So you'll never have that problem with the Death Adder. So solid mouse, solid price, no cons about it, only pros. And, um, yeah, sick mouse. Go ahead and check these out. It's called the Razor Death Adder. Anyway, thanks guys. It's Casey Froster from Netcode Illuminati.